Hi, I'm Mike Mooney uh, with Kingston Technology, and we're here at IDF 2013, and we're sneak peeking uh, some new technology coming on the server side, and then supporting Intel with uh, uh, the release of their new Atom C2000 microservers, and the refresh on their high-end desktop and uh, Xeon E5 version 2 servers. So, give you a quick peek at what we got here, is uh, we're showing DDR4. Now, DDR4 will be supported on a future server uh, from Intel, we'll probably see that in the late 2000s. 14 time frame and we're showing 192 gigabytes of DDR4 running on this Intel reference platform. DDR4 starts at 2133 megahertz and at 1.2 volts per module saves you quite a bit on power. So for you mobile users out there that's uh, better speed and uh, more support for the cloud. Perfect. Next we have the um, the Intel microserver platform and this microserver platform here has uh, four Atom C2000 nodes, and this little platform is uh, using Kingston's uh, ECC SODIMS. So this would be the type of memory that you would normally put into a notebook, but it has extra chips to provide um, ECC, which is correction capability, for a server environment. This happens to be running at 1600 megahertz at low voltage, and so where we'll see this is, again, in that data center supporting the cloud. So as the data centers begin to scale out for more cloud support, um, they'll be using this microserver technology. This demonstration happens to show um, we're running a web server off the microserver, and we're pinging websites, and this is a nice, fun, graphical way to see how it hits those web pages. Perfect. So when are, when are we going to be seeing DDR4 in the market? DDR4 will probably be out sometime in late 2014. So we'll probably see it in the server space, and uh, typical Intel, they'll have a high-end desktop that will complement that as well. So keep a lookout for some high-performance DDR4 memory from Kingston's HyperX product line. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you.